two self-evident truths, I would think. Crime is a bad thing, racism, bad thing, okay? Just leave it at that and then move on. If you're describing a criminal, surely you have to describe the criminal, not, well, he has an interest in flowers. Or, uh, what does he look like? Color's important, black or white. Uh, criminals are all colors. Heart high, you know, five feet tall, six foot five, uh, 150 pounds, 400 pounds. Apparently, we can't say much of this anymore in the media because it might offend some people. Deborah May is a mother and a writer, and welcome to the show. First of all, I mean, and you wrote to us, you, you volunteered this information. We thought it would be a good story. Well, a fascinating story, a terrifying story. Just briefly, what, what happened to, to your son? So I have uh, my 17-year-old son was yeah. out late one night, mm -hmm. and uh, was uh, a car drove up next to him. Two guys got out with balaclavas over their faces. One yeah. guy stayed in the car. Yeah. They pointed a gun at him told him to hand over whatever he had, which I think they got $7 and some crummy phone, mm -hmm. then told him to turn around and got back in the car and drove away. Right. That was it. Now, this was in the, the local newspaper, which is what? What's the name of this? It's called the North York Post. The it's North a franchise. There's the Bayview Post, the North Toronto Post. Oh, there's Post. Jeannie this Becker is... on the front. There we go. Has it ever been a paper Jeannie She's Becker has not been issue. the front of? <laughs> um, so they covered this story, but they, they don't describe... All they say is two men in disguise. Well, and they give their... Right, they say their gender, they give yeah. their age. They give their height. Right. And uh, what was deleted was the fact that one of them was black. Actually, not both of them were black. One right. of them was black, and the other okay. was, according to my son, had a Spanish accent. Okay. You'd think that was pretty relevant and pertinent, and as would be if they were white. I mean, you, you, criminals are bad people. We need to be... What about if a woman had been assaulted? Surely other women should know what the, what the person might look like. I think you, get, you give as much information as possible so that the capture of these people becomes easier. Yes. It's just ridiculous. Why would you impede their capture? That's right. It's not to make generalizations about race. I mean, most criminals are, are not black. Most criminals are white. Whites make up the majority of the population. Uh, going to prisons, so you all say it. But I mean, the, the point is, you describe a criminal. So you contacted the newspaper and asked them why they hadn't run well, this? Well, what I did was I phoned the newspaper and I asked them, I said, I'm assuming that they get their information from the police reports, yeah. which is true. So I said, are the police reports that are given to you, are they themselves censored or do you delete certain things from the police report? And yeah. I was told by a guy named Nick who works there that it is their policy to delete certain, you know, touchy... Right. Uh, words like black. Why is I that assume? touchy? I can tell you, <laughs> no. most of the victims of, of black crime in Toronto are black people, right. and they're more than happy to say yes. it's him, not because of his color, because right. he's a thug, he's a scumbag, Correct. and they want to. But, but we, the joke is that they end the article by saying anybody with information leading to their identity about a person. What? So, it's a I person. Think, no, it's a male. So oh, that is sexist. Well, that, oh, it's true. They shouldn't have put in that. That narrows male. it down by fifty percent. But there are a lot of women who do get out of cars with guns and and uh, do hold up guys who weigh twice as much as them. The plot thickens because we asked the newspaper. In fact, uh, Samantha, our chase producer, contacted wonderfully this newspaper over and over again. They wouldn't get back to her. Finally, they issued this statement. And this, I mean, it, it, you couldn't make this up. Please see below the statement attributed to anyway. Um, a recent concern, that, by the way, the writing is appalling. Appalling. It's... A recent concern brought forward by our readers has highlighted a breach in policy that guides how criminal activity is covered in our publications. Now, I don't know if this was you or not, but, but this is what they say. The policy precludes writers from including any physical description about suspects in crime stories. It was introduced to balance the need to raise awareness about criminal activity in communities we serve with our responsibility to provide accurate coverage that will stand the test of time. And, and unlike a daily newspaper, we are a monthly community publication with no mechanism to update our... They're saying that they shouldn't have put any description in at all? And actually what he was arguing is he was saying that they don't have time to deal with the, uh, I guess that the newspaper comes out so quickly they don't have time to deal with the editing of it, but actually they took extra time to edit that out. Mm. So We know, I mean, this goes on frequently. Anyone who pays any attention to, to media will know that uh, journalists were, are at pains, and it's, it can be laughable, to not describe right. the colour, yes. the race of a person who has been charged with a crime. And this apparently, it's white guilt again, is, is to protect people from being offended. They're criminals. We have to describe what they look like, who they are, if we can find them. When they're in court, should we cover them in case someone realizes it's a black person in court as opposed to a white person? Look, I'm a Jew and the whole Bernie Madoff story broke. Do I want them to hide the fact that he was a Jew ripping off Jews? No. I mean, it was, it's ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. Hmm. How does your son feel about it? You know, he was uh, scared. It was uh, a scary situation, but he's a pretty tough kid, and uh, 
He also, I mean, he said, if, if we're ever going to catch these people, how can we do it if we're not giving full, full, as much information as we have? Mm. The people who are most frustrated, and I'm sure you know this, I can tell you, are the cops, because they know who the bad guys are, they want to catch them, and they know this is utter and absolute crap. Mm. Right, exactly. And you're fighting with one arm, one hand tied behind your back all the time. Mm, don't say that because that could, that could offend the handicapped, the one arm community. Yeah, you're right. You know, and, and, and they'll be held to pay if that happens. I felt like asking this Ron Johnson, whose side are you on? Whose side is he on? I suppose it's not his fault. And, and it's all very confusing. And I have to say again, it's so clumsily written by, by a journalist. And I'm not exactly sure what um, this is all about. But this is a whole chain of newspapers, isn't it? Right, yes. And so there are lots of them throughout the city. I'm sure they, they mean no harm, but they've, they've got to be brave enough to tell the truth. Of course. Look, it seems like a small story. It's just my well, kid. Well, it's not a small I, story. And it's not a small story, exactly, which is why I decided to make a big deal about it. It's yeah. not a small story. Mm. Well, when he wrote to me, there. when I got... wrote to him back, just this one line, yeah. although he's claiming now that it's not a policy of theirs to include mm. any descriptions, he actually gave a defense of censoring the crime briefs by saying that... Uh, the word black would simply rule out a percentage of young males, but make every young black man a potential suspect. Well, better that what? than having every man a potential suspect. Let's narrow, <laughs> let's narrow the pool of suspects. The only person who would think that every black person is a suspect because the criminal is black will be a gutter racist. There's about two or three of them in this country. They don't matter. Correct. For most people who want to catch criminals, I'll, I'll say it once again, that most of the crime... We, we, Thank the Lord, just today the cops did a great job. They've charged a guy with murder. Right. He opened fire at, at a group. Um, almost all of the people there, the vast majority, were black. They want this guy to be caught and to be charged. They're not going to obsess about, did we describe his color? He's a criminal and a thug, and now he's been charged with murder. In this case, I'm glad you came forward. Thank you for doing it. Thank you very much.